People want to know where their food comes from. They want to understand it. And um, the, the market plays a big role in that. Georgia Grown's doing a lot to, to educate the consumer. Um, the, the Atlanta market with its freshness and proximity to fruits and vegetables that we grow in our state's doing a great job to move produce through and put that put that into the Atlanta and the southeast area where um, the consumer consumers looking for that product. So I think you see you see this market uh, it's a piece of property that was built in 1957 1958 um, opened its doors in 1959 and of course the the, the market has changed the business model has changed uh, you know we're currently the terminal market of the southeastern United States so what we're doing plays a, a big role in food movement but we've also along with that wholesale we've got the option of um, visiting some retail here at the market and then you know the garden center which will do a, uh, a variety of both of those things from the point of when I was a kid this state was loaded with small farmers to which all of these sheds down here that open at one time, 90% of them were farmer sheds. Mm -hmm. and in the summertime, they were loaded with small farmers everywhere. Where to now you see, uh, I mean, you know, Georgia's like California. We've got a lot of big time names in our state farming. I mean, you got Bolt House in uh, Lake Park, Georgia, you know, doing a farming deal. Uh, a bunch of the guys, uh, out of Michigan, Can't, even some Canadians or companies are down here. The newest building we currently have on the facility is JJ Jardina. It is uh, 12 years old. So, and that's about, uh, I think that's about the last spot of open ground that we had for, for building. So, what we're what we're looking at in our redevelopment phase again taking down some of the some of the areas that aren't used to its fullest potential as far as some of our open sheds and building back more of what we need which is enclosed refrigerated wholesale space for our tenants 1989 um, we uh, built this facility that we're in now which at that time was uh, you know first class back then you know, as years gone by, you know, we've, we've, kept, uh, we've kept up with the times. In the 60s and 70s, when the open sheds were a place where uh, a lot of truck farmers, so to speak, were coming in, selling their produce, and then going home for two or three days to come back, that business model worked really well. Uh, we've morphed over into a day now when farmers markets are really the end thing. You see a lot of them, and the, uh, a smaller guy has a lot of opportunities to go and to sell closer to home maybe than driving to Atlanta to the state farmers market. They're going to take part of these sheds out there which are not occupied except for Christmas tree time and uh, going to build a new facility I think 75 to 100,000 square feet something like that for uh, wholesalers to go down here and all. And which that'll be a good addition and one the market needs. One of the first things we're gonna do in the area that we're riding through now is we're gonna start redeveloping part of our shed area. Uh, what we're gonna have is taking down some of the sheds that are not used year round, not used to its fullest potential. And we're gonna put back refrigerated wholesale space um, that we are in a constant demand for. So that, that juggle is, it's ongoing, it's every day, it's a part of business. The encompassing answer is we are the terminal wholesale market for the southeastern United States. And in that niche products, we're about to travel past uh, Kuzman's Atlanta. If you're looking for niche products, they, they've got them. Uh, from the companies that are doing major wholesale business or that full service food service, so whether it be the specialty of fruits and vegetables across the board, you name it, there's there's a company here that's doing that, and that's a um, that's a testament as to what this market provides to the southeast. We really are excited with what we've accomplished over the years, and uh, especially with all the new things in the horizon right now. You know, it's it's going to be 